To write the formula for silver nitride, we need to first write the element symbols. So silver on the periodic table, that's A, G. And then nitride, when you see this IDE, that means it's just going to be the nitrogen atom. If it was ATE or ITE, you'd have a polyatomic ion like NO3 minus or NO2 minus. But here, just the IDE, we're just going to have nitrogen. Since we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound, we need to take charge into account. So let's look at the periodic table. So silver's here with the transition metals, but it's a little bit of an exception. It's always one plus. So we have the one plus ionic charge for the silver, and then nitrogen over here, group 15, sometimes called 5A, we have the three minus. So we have the charge for each compound. So we can see that silver nitride is a neutral compound. It doesn't say ion after it. So all of the charges, they need to add up to zero, a net charge of zero. So we have a three minus here and a one plus. If we had three of these silver ions, three times one plus, that's three plus, three plus and three minus, net charge of zero. So this is the formula for silver nitride. Let's remove these symbols here. And this is the correct formula for silver nitride. Note that because silver is there with the transition metals, often it's called silver one nitride. But since silver is always one plus, frequently chemists will say silver nitride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.